Na mtazamaji bila shaka utakubaliana nami kwamba virusi vya HIV vimeendelea kuwa tatizo si tu katika ukanda huu Afrika Mashariki bara Afrika na dunia nzima lakini tukija katika janga la Sahara ni kwamba uenda kuna afueni kuhusiana na vita dhidi ya virusi vya HIV baada ya uh, chanjo kuweza kupatikana ambayo inahusiana na masuala ya virusi vya HIV. Hebu sasa tupate taarifa hiyo kwa kina. Hii ni hatua muhimu katika juhudi za kupambana na ugonjwa wa ukimwi. Kenya ikiwa nchi ya kwanza barani Afrika kuidhinisha matumizi ya dawa ya DTG maarufu TVK ambayo inasifika kwa kutuliza makali ya HIV huku ikiwa na athari chache mno. Dawa hiyo inayofanyiwa majaribio kwa waathiriwa wapatao 1020 hapa nchini inanuiwa kufika nchini Uganda na Nigeria baadaye mwaka huu kupitia ufadhili wa shirika la Umoja wa Mataifa la UNITAID. DTG inapendwa zaidi na waathiriwa hasa wale ambao wamekuwa wakihisi athari za matibabu ya virusi hivyo. Dr. Stugutu ambaye ameishi na virusi vya HIV kwa miaka 15 anapongeza matokeo ya dawa hiyo mpya. You have constant nightmares where you take the drugs and then you go to bed and you you're just dreaming of weird things. You are either in a cemetery or you're dreaming about snakes or you're dreaming about dead people or you funny things like things out of this world. Some people think it's a myth but it's a reality that you actually get to get uh, nightmares. And then with the favorance I, I developed a condition of anemia because it would wear me out and it would drain me and my body my body cells would not reproduce themselves. So unlike now that you can see me and my 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 flesh looks full of life you can't tell whether I'm sick or not and else I tell you Shirika la Umoja wa Mataifa linaloshughulikia ugonjwa wa ukimwi UN AIDS Inapania kuwa faidi takriban asilimia tisini ya wanaoishi na virusi katika mataifa ya jangwa la Sahara barani Afrika kufikia mwaka wa 2020. Hapa nchini Kenya, majaribio yanalenga waathiriwa 2027 kabla ya kusambazwa kote nchini dawa zikipatikana katika hospitali za umma bila ya malipo. 85% suggests that the majority of patients are tolerating their treatment. Now the 15% could be people who are non adherent for very various reasons could be people who are experiencing toxicity you know or could be people who failed for one way or the other for for reasons that may not be clear so i'd say that the majority of patients right now tolerate the drugs that they that they are on that we currently use and the the reason that dolutegravir is exciting is that even more people will be able to tolerate it um and you know so therefore it will work uh even better for the majority there are other aspects of dolutegravir that is different from our current regimen and that is that that the drug itself is um is less likely to allow for viral resistance to develop Kenya imekuwa mbioni katika vita dhidi ya virusi vya HIV na kushirikiana na wadau kuhakikisha dawa zinapatikana kwa urahisi. Martin Sirengo ambaye ni mkuu wa miradi wa kukabiliana na ugonjwa wa ukimwi na ASCOP anasema zaidi ya 75% ya wagonjwa nchini wanaendelea kupokea matibabu. All the 1.5 million people living with HIV need to be on treatment. As I mentioned about uh, a million and, uh, and above are already on treatment. So we are looking for about uh, about 400,000 because some are already in the system and we are working them out. So it's becoming increasingly difficult to to to, to find the last uh, 400,000 people because some people living with HIV don't know that they have HIV. So in the same breath we have therefore introduced self testing so that Kenyans can get to know their HIV status. So with that in place then the next frontier for HIV really is to 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 move to quality of of the services that we provide chini ya mpango wa uhamisho kupimwa na matibabu idadi ya maambukizi nchini inaendelea kupungua ray polo afrika mashariki ktn news